hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install the postgresql onto your windows operating system and also install the pg admin to interact with your data so for that just go to your favorite browser and source for download postgresql and just go to this first link from postgresql.org so here you can see the option for downloading for windows so just click on that and just click onto this download the installer so this is the beta version so it's always better to go with the stable one so at the time of recording this video so the 15.4 is the uh, latest stable version so if it's different while you are doing it so you can just go with the latest one so for now i will go with the 15.4 so let me just click on do this download button so once the exe file is downloaded so let me just go into the downloads folder so if i just double click onto this folder so this should start the installer so here you can see the installer so let me just click on next so just press on next so here you can see so this will install the postgresql server pg admin 4 and stack builder and command line tool so let me just click on next so just click on next and you just need to put the super user password so in my case so i will put demo 1 2 so let me just keep demo 1 2 and just click next so you can just keep the port as it is and just click on next so just click on next next and so this will start installing the postgresql onto your computer so here you can see the postgresql setup has been successfully completed so we don't need the additional tool so i will on take this stack builder and let me just click on finish so now this should have installed the pg admin 4 so let me just search for pg admin so you can see the pg admin 4 so let me just click here so the pg admin has been started so if you just click on this server so to connect with the postgresql server so you just need to put the password super user password which we have set up while installing the postgres so let me just type demo12 in my case and let me just click on ok so this should now start the postgresql server so if you just click onto this database so here you can see the postgres so this is the default database uh, while installing the postgresql server so to create the new database so you can just right click onto this database and create create the database so let me call it something like demo and if you just click onto this sql so you will be able to see the query required for creating the database so it's always better to see this sql query as well so let me just go into this general and let me just click on save so this will now create the demo database so to create the table inside this demo database just click onto this schemas and if you just scroll down so you will be able to see these tables here so there's no any table so to create the new table you can just right click here and click on create and click on table and let me just name it something like student table and in the columns so we will put something like id so let me just put id into the name so id and in database data type so we will put it serial so that it will automatically generate and we can make it primary key as well so just tick here and again click onto the add row and let me just give something like name and we can just give the data type something like text and again let me just add new row and let me call it address and again let me just put the data type something like text so if i just click on sql again so you can see so this is the uh, query required for creating the table and these are the columns here so let me just go into the general again and if i just click on save so this will create the student table here so if i just right click onto this student and go into this view and edit data and click on all rows so you can see so there is no any data so these are the rows id name and address to insert the data inside here so we can again right click onto this uh, student table and click onto the script and click onto this insert script so this will generate the script for us to insert the data so since we have kept the id as serial so we don't need to manually put so i will just clear this id and also i will just clear this sign here so let me just open the code and let me just write something like john and we can just keep the address something like canada and to execute this query so you can just click onto this execute command so here just click here so you can see the query written successfully so now if i again just do the same thing like click into this view data and click on all rows so you can see the data has been added successfully into the table so this is how you can install the postgresql onto your windows operating system and also create the database using the pg admin and create the table and insert the data inside it thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like
like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one